State University and LSU Athletics, thank you for being here as we honor the national champion! <laughs> LSU would like to thank Hancock Whitney for being our championship partner. I'm Dixie McMake and I get to be your MC for our welcome back ceremony today as we honor the first time in LSU history, Gymnastics <laughs> National Tiger fans, this season was one for the record books, with the Tigers going 6-0 and at home, recording three back-to-back-to-back -back -back sellouts in the PMAC, and ending the season as the nation's attendance leader, all because of you, the greatest fans! Bring up now your head coach of the NCAA Gymnastics National Champions, Jay Clark! Wow. <laughs> we all just, we just landed about an hour ago and, and I, I cannot tell you the, the showing that of fans that showed up there and then to come back to this. It's incredible, and it just is a testament to how special LSU really is. Um, it's different here, y'all, and I know you, if you've been here your whole life, you might not realize that, but I haven't been here my whole life, and I do realize it, and you guys are incredible, and the fact that he mentioned we were number one in attendance, and, and uh, that's a tremendous thing in and of itself, but for us to be able to bring this back home to you all is super special to us, because we can have the greatest fan base in the world, but... We also want to reward you guys with the, with your art and support and be able to bring this back so that we can all share in the pride of this place and South Louisiana and the whole the whole deal. And I'd be remiss if I didn't thank our administration. Kelly Zinn is up here with us right now. <laughs> Scott Wimmer was there last night with us and they give us tremendous support. You see this facility that we have and it is the light that attracts the flies, and these are the flies. <laughs> and and, and, uh, and they, it, it's something that, it's just a special place. It's just incredible all the way through. I wanna thank our, my coaching staff, Garrett Griffith down here on the left. <laughs> Ashley Matt is right next to you. <laughs> How about that beam last night? <laughs> Bill Barco's tried to mess it up for us, and she, she snatched us out of the fire. And then Sav had to make it interesting for us. Where are you, Sav? <laughs> Sav just, uh, <laughs> Sav just wanted us to be stay on our toes a little bit. And then, of course, Courtney McCool Griffith right here, our floor coach. <laughs> it was tremendous. That event all year long was sort of our calling card, and, and we, had, we got to start on that event last night, which got us off to a great start. And um, we never, we really never looked back. It never really felt like we were out of control as we went through it. And that's a testament to, the, to these young women who have done everything we've asked them to do. The, the lessons of last year when we went through so much adversity just to get to the finals and we felt like we had won a championship, they took those lessons and they, they adhered to those attributes that got them there. And that's what made the difference for us this year. And I could not be more proud. I've been doing this for 34 years, and I've been part of a lot of championship teams. But this one is super special, y'all. I'm just telling you.
Katie is on her way back. I made sure that she got on the floor with us last night after, after the meet. She's not here right now, but she sent me a text with a picture of the flag hanging in the PMAC where there's a space next to it. And that space is about to get filled, y'all. I want to thank you all for being here with us today. Without you, none of this can happen. Let's run it back next year. I got a good feeling about the team we got coming back next year, too. So let's let's stay with us. This thing is just getting started. Go Tigers. Let's hear it again for our head coach, Jay Clark. How about we hear from some of those NCAA champion gymnastics players as well? Start off with the 2024 all around champion, Haley Green. with us through the highs, the lows, and everything in between. And it's seriously been an honor to represent these three letters and just the school. And I'm just very thankful. And I could not have done it with you guys, my teammates, my coaches, and everyone. So just thank you from tears at the bottom of my heart. today but for the support all season and for me personally for five years um, the support whoa <laughs> This support has meant everything to me um, and I really appreciate you guys and I said it last night um, it's not just a championship for this team it's a championship for everybody involved with LSU gymnastics so Thank you guys so much, and we're super excited. Hey, everybody. Just going off of what they said, we are so, so thankful for each and every one of you here. We say that it takes a village, and it really does. So thank you for supporting us. Thank you for believing in us. And thank you for celebrating with us. Go Tigers! I got a question for Aaliyah while she's up here. Because I gave, I gave her a lot of mess this year about not landing that little easy discount on beam that she does. There's a clip, apparently, that Gio has after Sab's little mishap where, you, where Sierra and you walk up to each other and there's a little conversation that occurred and then you guys kind of headbutted. Can you share with the crowd what that conversation was? Because I don't even know. I just told Sierra she started us off so well that she was just telling me to keep calm. She told me that we've done this all season, and so we want to do it for them. And we knew we had, we knew what we had to do to get the job done. And so we just wanted to reassure her. Let me tell you something. And the reason I the reason I share that with y'all is not certainly not to point out Sav. Sav handled that mistake better than anybody I ever had. <laughs> came off the podium and never, never flinched. She was like, let's go. It was, it was not even a, there was not even a, a moment of, oh my gosh, did I screw this up? It was just, let's go. We got this. And, and that's leadership y'all. And that's what we had all year long. And I, I watched that little video clip. I was curious because I went as a coach, you know, you're, you're standing there and you're completely out of control. And I went from the moment that Sierra landed her dismount going, we're going to win this thing. Then Saf came off and I go, maybe we're not. And then, and then I started calling God by all his proper names. I used them all in my prayers and was just like, um, and just to see them come back the way they did and to finish balance beam. You know what it takes to finish balance beam in that position at a championship meet the way they did. They set a record of 49-7 something. It was absolutely ridiculous. So I wanted to share that. I didn't get to hear the conversation, but there's things like that that have gone on with this team that I witnessed, and I don't always hear 
that you walk past and you can see that they get it. They're having the conversations with each other and they're invested in one another and they, they pour into each other at crucial moments. And, and that's, that was a moment that apparently got witnessed. I can't wait to see the actual video of it, but I've heard about it. And I just wanted to share that with everybody. Ladies, anyone else? Anyone else want to say some words? Get your phone. Anyone else? You want to hear from anybody else? Yeah. Tara, come on. My voice is a little shy. You know, I went a little crazy last night. Um, I just want to say how grateful I am for being part of such an amazing team and just these teammates just allowing themselves to be so vulnerable with each other um, to really create that bond so that we were able to do what we did this year. Um, I just want to thank you guys for showing up every single day, always um, being the village that's got our back. And we're really grateful for all the energy that you bring and all the love that you show us. And can't wait to see what's to come. Let's hear it again for our national champions. Tiger fans, we thank you so much for joining us this afternoon for our welcome back national championship party. So don't be alarmed. We're going to have a huge parade and ceremony Wednesday, April 24th. So mark your calendars. Make sure to tune in to lsusports.net. We're going to celebrate the full team. We're going to hear more about them. All in the PMAC. That was the nation's leading attendance this year because of you, Tiger fans. Drive home safely. As always, go Tigers!